Hello, this is Morgan Finley with Landmark Implement, and today we are going to be going over the Gen 4 display, documentation, and section control setup for the planter. Once we have our display turned on and loaded up, we're going to want to go into our setup. We can get to that either through our location button, our setup tile on the bottom taskbar, or by going to menu, applications, and then scrolling all the way down to the bottom and hitting work setup. For documentation, that means that we need to set up client farm field. So under location, you can select your nearby fields that will come up in this list. Or if you're going somewhere or wanting to set up for a field that you're going to, you can select view all in the bottom left and it will bring up your entire client farm field list and you can choose from there. As well as you can set up a new field in this tile as well. Next, we will pop into our equipment and make sure everything is set up properly in here. We'll go into our tractor, make sure everything is properly in place, that we have our offsets set in correctly, get out and measure and make sure that those are close, um, and then we have selected the correct connection type to our planter. After we've ensured that our tractor is set in properly, we'll pop into our planter and make sure everything is put in here correctly as well, our rows and our spacings, as well as our offsets. This will help to create more accurate mapping and more accurate section shutoffs. We can add an operation for this video. I'm going to select planning as our operation and then under work summary we can go in and select our product or variety that we're seeding and we can set up our planter as we wish. You can also add your varieties in this page or if you have already pre-selected in a product list they will populate in here once they are brought in from your setup file. Once that is finished, we can go ahead and select our section control. We can turn it on here, but we want to first make sure that it's put into our liking. So to do that, we will go to Menu, Applications, Section Control. We will turn our master on here. This is where we can select our headland control if you have brought in boundaries and select whether we want to do interior or exterior boundaries. Here we have selected that we are going to be running section control on corn and we are able to edit our overlap settings. You might have more options on your end that I do right here, um, but to make sure you have either if you want more overlap or less overlap um, when you come into your boundaries at the end of the field, you can adjust those there. We can also come into this performance tuning and this will help us select the proper timings to get rid of our skips or our overlays. This calculator is very simple to use. We can set up the distance and the speed that we are going that we were seeing a, seeing a skip or an overlap and it will automatically select a uh, correction for us to use. We will go with a four foot skip and that will be at four mile an hour. And we want our seating placement 
to plant to row and says that our values are not put in um, so we are currently getting the best results that we can. If you're wanting to look into any more information on your section control or why it may not be working, we can select our settings, look at our mapping or continuous tillage options, or go into our help taskbar. This will take you to an online version of the operator's manual and help you out with editing that section control. If you're still experiencing issues, please call your local landmark dealership or CTS or AMS hotline and somebody would be happy to help you get going.